Not honestly, not that I know of. But once again, this goes back to the people who were who were initially uh, admitted in the trial. And this is why. And this is another point. I'm thank thank you for raising that question. It's actually a really good question. That question actually raises a point of our participation in clinical trials. Black people, we have questions about whether or not something is affects us, but we won't participate in clinical trials. And so right. what what and so what happens is now in a situation like this, like I I would I would assume that if because of the prevalence of sickle cell disease or sickle cell traits in African Americans, I would imagine that somebody um, that was in the trial or has been vaccinated has sickle cell or has sickle cell trait. And so if that is the case, I would I would I have not seen anything in particular negative about you know people going into crisis following vaccination. But what I will tell you is that I would say this goes back to risk versus the potential protection and outcome. I would definitely suggest that if somebody, if, if you should be more concerned about the, especially in, in any person with an immune compromised scenario, you should be more concerned about what the virus could do to you potentially more so than even what a, vac what a vaccine could do to you, especially with these vaccines because they are so safe in fact. So I, I have not seen anything in particular about about sickle cell disease in uh, the vaccine trials. But what I would tell you is that this is a situation where you go and talk to your uh, physician and, and see what they have to, to tell you. But I would, I would probably tell you, they're probably gonna suggest that you go ahead and get vaccinated or whoever gets vaccinated because the risk of disease from the virus is far greater than the risk, potential risk from a mRNA vaccine.